is getting ready to get up, get out, and make some things happen this morning. Listen, we got to talk about a big-time prospect, a prospect who I thought we were lost in the sauce, man. He is the number one cornerback in the country, Sion Lolia. I think I'm, that's pronouncing his name correctly, but uh, we got to talk about him. You guys know I did a video about him a couple of months ago, actually right before the spring, and look, man, I thought we were lost in the sauce. Um, I hadn't heard anything from him, and I... Um, ironically enough, I watch him, I follow him on YouTube, excuse me, on Instagram, and uh, look, I've been noticing that he's been taking official visits all over the place, man, it looked like he was with Michigan, Ohio State, I mean, he's trying these uniforms on, and I'm like, man, in my mind, I'm thinking like, they are about to get a good one, this guy's six foot four, 185 pounds, and I told you guys, he is the number one cornerback in the country, and I was super excited about, about him when he actually came and made the visit to USC to the spring game. But then after that, everything went silent. However, now we got an official visit. He's coming on uh, 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 June the 15th, which is this week. We only got a couple of days. And look, man, we already know, man, these recruits, once they get here, it's straight up go time. It's only popping. It's only cracking. USC, the staff, they absolutely just lay out the carpet, the red carpet, and it's straight up go time. So we're going to talk about that. I'm going to show you his film again. Even though I showed it to you guys a couple of months ago, we're going to talk about that again. And then also, USC is now unveiling, President Folk unveiling the, the uh, new facilities that are coming uh, with the women's lacrosse and some other things. Uh, I think this is going to spill over to um, spill over to the football program. You guys know the facilities need to be updated, but this facility is unbelievable. I got special love in my heart for lacrosse, being that my da daughter had a lacrosse scholarship. Um, she wouldn't play lacrosse. But look, man, it's straight up go time. It's only popping. We're going to take a look at that as well. It's going to spill over to the football. And um, ironically, all this stuff is happening while the athletic director, we don't necessarily have a athletic director. We have a team, a search team right now, searching for a new athletic director. So let's take a look at that information, man. Um, you guys see me in the comment section. You guys already know where you can find me. It's going to be USCJ32 on Instagram, USCJ32 on Twitter. Let's take a look at the information real quick. Let's go. With Scion that I actually did, and you guys see it there where I published it. That was April 3rd. That was right, um, uh, was it before spring? It was right before spring. Um, and he came to the spring game shortly after that. And uh, however, he disappeared. You guys get a chance, go back and look at that video. Um, but here is an official visit that he's getting ready to take this weekend. And so it's straight up go time. It's only popping, it's only cracking. I want to do uh just take a look at his his films real quick and see exactly what he is, man. You guys. I'm going to have to refresh some of you guys' memory because it's been um, a couple of months already. Let's take a look real quick at Sion. All right, we're going to jump right into it. And as you see, this is Sion here. He's playing the cornerback position. And look, he actually led the receiver. Um, it's like he was playing receiver. But he got this pick, man. Big body, as I stated, 6'4", 185 pounds. And he's playing man coverage, pressing. Uses his hands real well. And uh, look, he's not too handsy to where he doesn't allow... Um, the passing interference to take place. But look at his technique. Look at his coverage. It's straight up go time. Look how he, he turns that head around. He's playing cornerback the textbook, uh, uh, you know, playing it like the textbook way. It's straight up go time with him, man. You guys hit me in the comments. Say, look how long this kid is. I love everything that I see with Sion. Man, I mean, does he get jiggy with it or does he get jiggy with it? Man, it's on and popping. It. Look, look at him here. Look how he opens up. Look how he turns those hips. Look how he turns that head around. He plays the cornerback position like A1. Look at him here. I love how he gets down. That lets me know when an individual gets, look how he presses that man. When an individual gets down at, like that, he's letting you know that, look, I can do anything that you think you can do, and I'm going to do it better. That's what Sion is saying. You guys hit me in the comments. You guys tell me what you think. It's straight up go time with Sion. Here he is right here up top. And this is a big receiver that he's facing. Watch how he, he let's see him here. This camera kind of lost it. Look, that is some great coverage right there. You talk about going into the Big Ten, you want a big physical cornerback right there that can just press you just like that. I don't mind the off-the-coverage stuff, the uh, you know, off the line, but when the cornerback 
plays up like that, it's letting me know that he has confidence in his ability. And you can tell his, his physical stature, um, he is speaking um, to these receivers and saying, look, I got all the confidence in the world, and there's nothing you can do about it. My coverage is A1 right now. See him right here? Watch how he opens up his hips, and then watch how he turns and looks for the ball. He is the real deal, man. So you guys hit me in the comment section. He is the – turn that head right there. He is the number one cornerback in the country, and I think it's straight-up go time. I think USC – look, I think we need to go after him and make sure we don't let him leave, just like I was saying about some of the other guys. He is the real deal, man. So hit me in the comments. Let me know what you think. Number one cornerback in the country, Sion. Also, real quick, some news and no items that came out of Norman, Oklahoma yesterday. Um, Oklahoma D-line, Derek LeBlanc, has entered the transfer portal. And the crazy, ironic thing about this kid is that he is part of the 2023 class. He just got there a couple of months ago. Not sure if he played in the spring game or not, but he is a four-star prospect. Um, <laughs> you guys hit me in the comments. Should USC go after this kid? Four-star, just entering the portal. You guys let me know what you think. Derek is from the state of Florida, and that is one of the things that I heard, that he possibly wants to go back to Florida. So uh, whether we go after him or not, we just have to see if he's willing to uh, if he's willing to, uh, to uh, make that transition to California if there in the event that USC offers him. Now, I know USC did get the new defensive tackle from Tennessee. I don't know if something like that. You know, came from the transfer portal. I don't know if that has anything to do with this this uh, move with him going to the transfer portal or not. Uh, well, no, it probably can't because he 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 had to have entered by April 30th. So this guy just came available just within a matter of a couple of weeks ago. April 30th was the deadline for these guys to uh, to enter the portal. So um, he was a four-star prospect, a top 300 guy. He was actually nationally he was ranked 244 D lineman, number 31 overall, and then in the state of Florida he was ranked number 47. So this is Derek LeBlunt. You guys hit me. Let me know what's your thoughts on that. Now, we're getting ready to take a look at these facilities real quick. You're going to see it. I'm not going to show the whole thing. I just want you to take a look at it because I think this is going to overflow into the football program. Um, this is uh, President Carol Falk. And uh, look, there are some that say you this is the new athletic facility here. And this is primarily for women's lacrosse. And you see here, it's called the Rawlings Stadium. It is straight up go time. I and mean, this place is unbelievable. It's beautiful. Um, it's a $38 million facility uh, stadium. And it will, um, fixed seats will be 2,200 fixed seats and a game day capacity of 2,500, including viewing decks and social spaces. Look, man, this place is incredible. We're going to get an upper look at this. Uh, this is what President Folt unveiled earlier today, uh, yesterday. And as you see here, here's an upper view here of how it looks on the outside of the stadium. You see the people down here at the bottom. They'll be sitting right here. But, wow, I mean, this is like a state-of-the-art deal. And you see these here. This would be like the press box area right here. They got the big SC on top. Man, this is beautiful, man. I'm telling you, man, it makes me want to get out there, put me a lacrosse stick out, and get down and jiggy with it. Look, you got the cars fixated right, situated right here. And uh, I think this is an absolutely beautiful place. Nice little light. Lighting right here, one right here on the corner. Then you got another one. You got one, two. You got about each corner has one. Um, this is a beautiful place. And you see here, here's another shot. This will be how, you know, a nighttime look. I mean, man, you see the fence right there. You can actually, you can have cars parked right here. And as the game is going on, you can have guy, individuals just walk down and be able to see that, man. I mean, this is absolutely stunning and beautiful. The Rawlings Stadium sitting about... 2,500 capacity, and uh, look, it is it is awesome. State of the art lacrosse stand. And this will be like the actual last look. And uh, look, man, is it a good time to be a Trojan? I mean, right now, everything is hitting on all cylinders right now. The basketball program, they're getting Bronny. They're getting Dennis Rodman's son. They're getting the number one guard in the country coming from the, from the state of Georgia. They get Juju Watson, number one girls basketball player. Now they're getting a new lacrosse facility. I mean, everything seems to be hitting. The football team is doing very well. Everything from an athletic perspective is doing well. And then the baseball team got robbed, absolutely robbed, from, uh, <laughs> you know, making it to the, the World Series. And I just think it's unbelievable that the program is hitting on all cylinders. And coincidentally, 
You guys who follow me on Instagram, I put up a post the other day about the women's track team. I mean, they came from behind. I believe it was the 4x1 relay. She came back from running the 400. They were all the way down, I think, from Purdue. I think it was Purdue that had her head. This girl came and, I mean, she hawked her down. I mean, one of the most incredible races. You guys who've seen it, hit me in the comments. Let me know. But USC Athletics right now is absolutely thriving. And I think it's a great time to be a USC Trojan. And as a result, you now start to see things like this unfold, man. You guys hit me in the comment section. Lacrosse is about to be only popping, only cracking. All right. Is it go time or is it go time? Is it only popping? Is it only popping? Man, look, you guys hit me in the comment section. Look, man, what's your thoughts on Scion? Do you see him playing corner? Do you see him playing safety? Do you see him playing nickel? Look, I mean, he is so long. I mean, the guy covers so much ground. And look, I put up a clip the other day with Caleb Bullock, how he covered so much ground um, as a safety. Um, he ran from one side of the field to the other, made an incredible interception. And, uh, man, look, for whatever reason, even though I know he plays corner, it's something about him that reminds me of Caleb Bullock. I don't know what it is, but I think he is a cornerback. He can play. He can run. I think he runs about a 10-8. Um, in a 100, if I'm not mistaken, and a 21 or something like that, 22 and a 200. So, I mean, he has speed, but if anything, you can put him at safety. But the way he covers that, that field, he's a ball hawk, he's long, and uh, look, he will cause some straight-up problems, man. And have you noticed, Lincoln Riley, the guys, look at Dakota Field, six, six foot two. You got um, several guys on the roster right now that are long, lengthy. I mean, these guys are, it, I mean, Lincoln Riley and his staff, like I told you guys before, they are absolutely uh, preparing for the Big Ten on another level. They are no longer getting five foot nine, five foot seven, <laughs> five foot seven quarterbacks, man. They are getting some long, big guys, man. And uh, you guys, ironically, Malik Crawford, you guys know he's a pretty long guy. He's six four. Um, I believe Christian Pierce is six one, six two. Uh, so you got some guys that are long. It's straight up go time, man. USC is doing it on a whole nother level. And then what do you guys think about the facilities? It's straight up go time with that as well. It's a beautiful facility. Um, they, they're just going to keep, continue to add on and upgrade as uh, things continue to progress. So you guys hit me in the comment section. You guys tell me what you think. This is a big, big weekend. This is probably actually the biggest weekend in recruiting that we actually have. Uh, you got you got several guys. Marcellus Williams, he'll be here this week, and you got several guys that are going to be here. We're going to talk about some of those guys as well as the week continues to progress. But we just had to deal with, with this with him, uh, Sion, by himself because we just wanted to get this information over to you. You guys don't forget. You guys can sign up to membership. Membership starting at a dollar ninety nine. Uh, this is just a way to help me get things and do what I do. And then two two ninety nine, and then it goes up to twenty four ninety nine. Um, a month. Whichever one you choose to, I appreciate everybody that contributes to this channel. Um, it's straight up go time. It's only popping. It's only cracking. Listen, until later on, don't forget to make sure you guys get up, get out, and make some things happen. Until later on, everybody stay blessed. Fight on, fight on.